Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a software training video using a program called Flashback Express. This is the interface of Flashback Express. It's free and easy to use. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make software training videos using this screen capturing software. We have different versions of the logo made which you can find under the website. Each with the same animation but with different background music. You can choose the one you like and also choose another one from the list anytime you want something different. When the animation is done, you can pause or just keep it playing for some background music. Totally up to you. Flashback Express is a free download of the software. Can download it here. No need for the pro version, the free version is enough for our purpose. Installation is easy so I won't need to show you that. Once installed, here is the software's interface. In conjunction with this program, for making software training videos we'll be using Windows Zoom which should come by default with Windows. To access that, you'll press your Windows key plus plus to zoom in and Windows key plus minus to zoom out. Your Windows key plus escape to exit. Next, let's move on to the settings. Okay, in Flashback Express, by the startup screen here, we want to make sure we enable our microphone. Select the right input device. Then you'll see the meter on the right activated. Also make sure your desktop speakers is also selected. That way the animation audio will also play. Okay, next up under settings, I want to go to video, then we'll set our quality to around 60% and our frames per second, we'll set this to 30. Next up, I want to enable capture layered windows for tooltips. Then we move over to sound. Make sure our microphone is selected and our desktop speakers, which we've already done in the beginning. Our sound format. We can set the sample rate to 44.1 hertz. Then we can leave stereo on or off, depending on uh, your desired effect. Next up, we will go to desktop. Then we can say if you want to set a separate resolution. So if you want to record your screen bigger with crosshair bigger, then you can enable change resolution while recording. Select the new resolution you want. And then that will display in your new recording with that resolution. Then under hotkeys, we want to make sure we've got a, a record and the stop recording shortcuts enabled minus control shift R for record control shift S for stop you can set up any other if you want but this helps so you can run the program in the background while recording without having to switch to it then if you're using a program with a lot of shortcut keys you can always capture keys switch that on and then record modifiers control shift alt key presses okay for now that will be set up and let's move on to a basic recording okay now as to the recording it's rather simple click your record button and then you select which monitor you would like to record in my case we might primary monitor I'll remind you what your hotkey to stop the recording and you click record it's just a warning message it's fine You'll have a countdown. Yeah, then your recording will start. When you're done, you can either push your shortcut key or just click the stop button. Compress. You have made a recording. You want to play it or save it. In my case, I'll save it. Select your location you want to save your project file to. Click save. Place it yes. 
Then to find your recordings, you can click here under recordings and there's our test project. So in order to make this um, MP4 and ready for web use, we will be clicking the export. Now once that's done loading, we will select the top MP4, click OK. Then we will leave our first setting the same as it is, unless you have uh, you want to set your if you've set your resolution lower for recording, then you can always go to pixels and set it back to the the desired resolution. Then frame rate, we will leave this at 30 frames per second. Video and sound quality, you can switch this one to 50%. And the mode will be quality, not bitrate. Then the sound, I will switch to 128, just to keep the final size not too large. We will not be doing anything on the codec. And then you click export. You select your location and click save. Now they'll give you an option if you want to preview it. In my case, I will say no. And then your file will be ready for web use. Okay, here's a quick overview of the structure for making videos for the website. We'll start with the about, so there's a title, what you're about to cover. Then we'll switch to the animation logo. Then we'll go back to the program and then that'll be the bulk of the tutorial. And we'll switch to the outro, which is the website. Then, like I mentioned, you'll be switching to the softwaretrain.ca website once you're done. Explain to the people that they can find more video tutorials here that they can learn from. And also, there's an area for them to request the training video if they do not find what they're looking for. Cool. Thanks, guys. Cheers.